I published multiple videos earlier covering how can you generate images using AI. I also published couple of videos using free AI tools. How can you edit your image and use it for product photography or any other commercial purposes? Today in this video, I'll show you how can you retouch existing images and that too absolutely for free using a free method. So let me show you what am I talking about. First of all, what I've done. I used ChatGPT and generated this image so that I'll get one image where in a skin tone there are some spots and I can remove it using an AI tool. So you can see I gave this particular prompt to ChatGPT and ChatGPT gave me this image where there are some spots in the skin and I am going to remove those using another free AI tool. Now let me open a new tab and there I'll go to my favorite application that is Google AI Studio and Google AI Studio is a gold mine and there are multiple different options and let me show you very quickly which one to use here for this purpose. In the right pane you will be able to see there are multiple different models are available and mainly these models are on preview and Google may move some of the models here and there any point of time. If you just come here you will be able to see under Gemini 2.5 there are multiple different models are available and under Gemini 2.0, there are some models available. So we will continue to use Gemini 2.0 flash preview image generation model. Here you can see it's written that there are some input output costs, but UI remains free of charge. So in case we are going to use something here, that will be free of cost. So this is actually built by Google for developers. In case you are developing an app using any of the Google AI models, then this should be your console where you will be able to work. However, we are going to use it for a different purpose today. Now I'll click on this particular model. Now this model is selected and temperature I'll keep as is. If you change it to in the right side, then it will become more creative, which we are not looking for. We are looking for a balanced output and nothing else you need to change here. So we'll keep everything as is. Now one thing I have to do, I'll click on this particular plus sign and I'll click on upload file. Then it will show me multiple different options. I have few of the photos already downloaded here. So this is the file I earlier generated. I shown you using chat GPT and I'll click on open. Now you can see this is the file it loaded and this image is an AI generated image where there are some spots in the screen which we are going to remove now. I already copied one prompt. Let me paste it here. Remove spot from her skin. Make it natural looking. Do not change the character photo. Ensure it doesn't look artificial. So I gave these four requirements and if I click on run, then it will work and it will give you the output. Let's see how it works. Normally it comes back very quickly and let's see this time how it's working. You can see it generated the content. Now if I click on this image, it removed that spot, but the skin tone became too smooth. So it's not looking very realistic. So we can prompt here again. What am I asking here? Her skin tone looks too smooth and doesn't look realistic. Please regenerate and make it realistic. The character of the image should not change. And let's see how it comes back. Normally, whenever we prompt, reprompt, we can get our desired result. Let's see this time if it can follow our prompt or not. It gave that photo. It, this is looking a bit more realistic than the other one. If I open the other one, you can see this was the image and now it generated this one. It looks much better than the other one. So this is the way you will be able to remove any spot from any of the images. While it's an experimental model, it's on preview, it always doesn't generate very right result. But if you try multiple times, you'll be able to get your results. So this is one area. Yesterday I was testing this particular photo and this prompt only to prepare for this video. And it was generating a bit more realistic photo than this one. Today it generated a bit of a more in smoother side. So you can prompt and reprompt to get the desired result. Now before I show you the next option, one small announcement. My chat GPT course is now available in Skillshare. You can check the link in description below and avail the free trial period. If you are happy with the platform, you can continue or else you can cancel before your 
free trial games. Currently, I have two courses available there. You can check out those courses. Now we retouch the image. If we want to change any of the component of the image, what can we do? If I paste another prompt here, change her t-shirt color to white and if i hit run and let's see how it comes back with it normally works very well i shown the similar method in my product photography video where i shown the similar tool it was a different interface on that time however the same tools i used on that video itself if i click on it you will be able to see a dress color also now changed so this is the way you will be able to make required changes now let me show you another thing. If I paste this prompt, add a thin gold chain to this image. It should look like she's wearing it naturally. And if I now click on run, now you see that in the same image, it added one gold chain. So all those things you will be able to do. So this is maybe I would say a very simple replacement of Photoshop related work. Maybe there you need to spend some good amount of time. You need to pay money uh, for the subscription and other things. But in this way, you will be able to do it quickly. All those things. However, one thing we need to understand here. If I click on this image, you can see the size of the image which ChatGPT generated. However, when it reproduce that image, the size of the image is not that big. So if I just download, you'll see it's only 110 KB image, which means you may need to use another image upscaler to upscale these images. I already recorded some videos where I shown how can you upscale your images. What I'll do, I'll add some of those links in the description below so that if you have any such requirement, you will be able to upscale your images from the current one also. Let me show you another thing with what you can do using this particular model. So what I'll do, I'll go to a new chat. I'll ensure the same image generation model is selected. I'll click on this plus, I'll upload. And then what I'll do, I'll go to downloads and I just now I generated another image. This is another image I generated using ChatGPT itself. If you see, this is one image of an Indian market in 70s and in black and white. So I gave this particular prompt, generate an image of an Indian market in 70s and this image should be in black and white. The image should be ultra photorealistic along with a subtle effect to look like an old photo. And ChatGPT gave me this particular image. I pasted this particular prompt, convert this black and white photo to a colored one. Do not change anything else and let's see how it works. And this time it should be able to do it very quickly. Okay, I'll convert this black and white photo to a color image and it generated this one. If I now click on this image, you'll be able to see that it changed the color. Where in some place here, I think there is something which needs to be retouched. However, it generated properly. So again, we may need to upscale this image. It's not in very high quality, but there are ways to upscale the images very quickly using free tools and you can follow those uh, tools also and you will be able to upscale. So this is another part. Now let me finally show you another thing and how we can use this particular tool for those purposes because in one of my earlier video, someone mentioned in the comment that to record a video covering this kind of features in case we need to retouch any of the image. If you need to restore any of your old family photos, you can do it using this particular method. And once the output will be generated, you'll be able to upscale it using other tools. Now let me show you the final one. Again, I'll go to chat and the same image model I'm going to use. I'll go back to chat GPT and I'll show you another thing. I earlier generated this image also, another portrait of a guy and then I'll use this particular photo this time. I'll click on this plus sign. I'll upload file, select this particular option there. This is the file and I'll click on open. Now you'll be able to see that image will get uploaded here. So I'm using all AI generated photos so that no one will have any complaint that I have used their photo and there will not be any maybe copyright related issues, right? Now this is the image and I pasted this prompt. Convert this black and white photo to a colored one. Do not change the character photo. Ensure it doesn't look artificial. And let me click on run. While this is quite similar to the other use case I just shown you, I'll show you something else also. Now let's see how it comes back with. And now it generated the image. You can see if I click on it, it generated properly. This looks very, very realistic. So this is a good work done by AI this time. Earlier, I was not very happy with the output, but this looks very good. This image is generated, right? Now let me show you another prompt. It was not working properly yesterday. Let me check if it works this time. What I'll do, I'll write this prompt 
एड ए स्मॉल गोल्ड इयर रिंग इन हिज लेफ्ट ईयर यस्टरडे इट एडेड इन बोथ इयर्स लेट सी हाउ इट जेनरेट दिस टाइम दिस टाइम इट वर्क प्रॉपरली यस्टरडे वेन आई जेनरेटेड इट एडेड गोल्ड रिंग इन बोथ ऑफ द इयर्स so this time it properly followed however i told in the left ear now it took the left from my angle right but this is actually the right ear of the man however so we can prompt and reprompt to do all those things and we can make required changes that can be done so this is the way you will be able to use google ai studio if you want to retouch any of the photo if you want to restore any of your old our friends or family photos all those things you can you will be able to do using this free tool let me know in the comments below what's your view you can also talk to me directly if you want i have added one link in the description below which is an application named fan call there you will be able to block my time and you will be able to talk to me directly if you have any such requirement if you want to know anything or you just want to say hi that application you will be able to use i have also recorded another video how can you generate unlimited ai voices and that too for free you will be able to generate all those ai generated voices you will be able to download you will be able to listen to it you will be also able to sell it in different other platforms check out this video if you want to know more about it